I'm Kofi Gang, it's your boy Kofi Neat. Um, so I'm gonna be trying to crank out two videos in a row because I'm really knocked down to buy Discord again because, you know, it will add up eventually and I don't wanna get in the habit of, uh, you know, paying for it. But anyways, yeah, for this video, I sort of wanted to expand upon what I talked about in the last video and basically talk about something related, which is basically something that I sort of thought about I guess not the past few days, but maybe a little while ago. But I was basically, um, you know, you know how they say it takes 10,000 hours to become a master at something? Obviously, that that number isn't necessarily exact all the time because it depends on things like how consistent you are, things like genetics, how talented you are at what you're trying to achieve, and so many different factors. But generally speaking, if you spend 10,000 hours uh, working away, toiling away at some sort of hobby or skill, you might not become a quote unquote master at it, but you're definitely bound to become pretty, um, you know, pretty damn good at it. Definitely good enough to, uh, you know, charge people money for what you're doing or, you know, make something that, you know, a lot of people like would like if that, if that's what you want or, you know, not just make, but, you know, perform at a high level at whatever it is and given that um it also uh got me thinking you know how much how much of that time that i should have uh, you know spent towards my goals and my aspirations have i spent you know on early in life you know on useless crap and that got me thinking hey why don't i talk about you know the various things that I've wasted time on and, you know, the top different things that I've essentially sunk time into. And, you know, yeah. So anyways, I'll be talking about that. Sorry if I ramble in this video. This is uh, kind of last minute, trying to beat the clock here, trying to, trying to beat 12 a.m. But anyways, yeah. So the first thing I would say I probably spent the most time on would probably have to be YouTube and I don't have uh, I don't have an exact estimate because you know someone told me that you could find out about your YouTube watch time uh, by requesting it through uh, I don't know the options page or whatever something like that and um, I don't know maybe I wasn't I wasn't uh, you know looking at the stats correctly but I couldn't find that information out but I sort of have a brief idea of how much time I spent on the platform and basically I started watching YouTube when I'd say I was in late middle school early high school and that was like the really I'm not gonna say like the early it was fairly early on in YouTube where you know all those like you know comedy channels which would probably be considered um uh, extremely corny now um yeah i guess everybody thought those were funny as hell at the time and you know things like i don't even know what we used to watch apart from those stupid uh you know those prank videos those prank <laughs> those prank channels and um um you know those comedy uh those comedy channels like i used to like uh you know my chani i thought he was pretty funny because you know he's asian and um yeah but, you know, there's a ton of those, um, can't think of what, I honestly can't remember all those names, but basically I started watching, uh, at that time when I was like, I don't know, 13, 14, 15 and whatever the age was. And I basically, from then I remember I used to watch YouTube every night when I was supposed to be doing homework and I started out pretty slow maybe only watching one to two hours a night, but gradually I would just watch more and more uh, until it sort of hit a peak in high school of around three to four hours. And that's because that's the most I could get away with without jeopardizing my homework and my grades, which my parents really cared about and sort of nagged me about. So yeah, uh, I basically did that. But then come university when I had all the freedom uh, that I could possibly have to basically, you know, no rules, no restrictions, 
no one watching over my shoulder except my conscience, which is not my conscience, but my, my, you know, the con the part of my conscious that the conscience that controls my self control, which is basically a, you know, bankrupt. Um, yeah, I basically, you know, would watch four to five hours on top of doing other distracting things, which I'll talk about next. So, you know, how much is that? Like, let's say on average from this point. And then after that, when I became neat, I started watching even more, uh, especially even before I became neat, like in the later parts of my university years, I probably watched like six hours to maybe six, five to six hours. And then when I became fully neat, it depend on the day, but sometimes I watch up to like eight hours of YouTube nonstop. I would sometimes I wouldn't be even watching the, the video, but I would have it on in the background while I was doing other things to get that sort of, you know, combination of different, uh, you know, behavioral addictions going. So, you know, eight hours. So let's say on average, I, I watch three to four hours of YouTube a day for, let's say 12 years. So that's 365 times, did I say four hours times four? Uh, let me quickly uh, pull that on the calculator. Uh, so 365 times four times 12. So that's around uh, 17,520 hours that I spent on YouTube alone. So just imagine if I had put that time into, so that's basically enough for me to become a master in one activity and almost a master in another activity with just 200, 2,500 hours more. And I'd basically be, you know, a master at two different things by now. But sadly, I chose to spend that time on fucking useless videos. So uh, unfortunately I'm at, I am in the position I am because of that. Uh, the second biggest waste of time for me would probably have to be video games. Um, I don't remember the last time I checked my league stats. I could probably check it now, but I want to get this video over with so I can upload it, but who knows? Maybe I'll look at it later, but I think last time I checked it, it was probably around, um, it's like eight, Something, something crazy like 8,000 hours on league. Maybe not 8,000, maybe like 5,000, 6,000, something in the thousands. So that's on league alone. And I started playing league um, by the time I finished high school. And then there's the fact that I, I've played so many different games. And even though I haven't finished many of them, when you add up all the games that I've played, it's probably into the the, the thousands. So you're looking at maybe on average 10 hours per game. So 10 times a thousand, that's 10,000 right there, plus league uh, and, you know, all that crap. So I'd say on video games, I probably spent 20,000 hours. So I could have been a master at two more things or a, a grand master, if that's, if that's even a thing, or like a god, an ascendant being at like one activity or even two activities because that's like you know 20,000 hours pretty much between video games and YouTube alone and then you have things like movies and anime and other visual media which I've um I've spent maybe another 10,000 hours on you know maybe the math is all fucked up because um I can't Honestly, like maybe this is beyond my years of living at this point because I'm not doing the calculations properly, but um, it's definitely a lot of time on visual media. So movies, anime and other things that aren't YouTube. And I'd say maybe let's say I've spent another 10,000 hours. So that's 50,000 hours with that added to it. And what else? Um, Uh, a more recent one is looking through audio plugins and looking for audio plugins and software and samples and stuff like that, which is hobby related, but um, that wasn't really conducive to me doing anything creative. I probably could have made so much more with um, 
so much more with uh, you know just the basic stuff that I already had but I had to keep consuming and collecting uh, useless like crap hoarding uh, you know hoarding data basically ones and zeros in a computer and um, which is tantamount to nothing but with that I probably spent 2,500 hours or so so that's that so that pretty much rounds out rounds it out of 50,000 and then when you um, you know what else could I spend time waste? Uh, what else could I waste time on? Um, you know, how about just daydreaming, lying in bed, daydreaming, sitting down, daydreaming, zoning out, you know, fantasizing about a life I could have lived or my, you know, beating up my bully or, you know, stupid crap like that. Stuff that uh, just doesn't help at all versus actually doing things that could, you know, put me in the position to achieve what I want. I probably spent, you know, maybe honestly a lot of time, like maybe 10,000 hours throughout my lifetime. So that's 60,000 hours. I could be, I could be a, I could literally be a God at three different skills. And, you know, obviously that's not feasible because I'd just be some sort of, I'd still be kind of weird, like obviously, but, you know, 20,000 hours could be directed towards a sort of, macro skill which is basically being a normie and living life and i'm sure that given my social deficits if i just directed the time towards you know a broad set of skills like grooming socializing and all the micro skills that are involved in dealing with people and you know being a you know not even a functioning member of society but just someone who's competent and who can get around the world and live on their own terms i'm pretty sure that even if i didn't become some, you know, self-made billionaire. I could probably learn to eke out a sort of decent existence for myself. So, um, yeah, that's 60,000 hours right there. And oh, man, this, is fuck, this is depressing thinking about how much time I've spent. And, you know, maybe this isn't very realistic because obviously not everybody is going to be able to be that motivated in order to spend that time that efficiently. But even if I'd spent half of that time, if I just wasted half of the time that I did, I could at least be a master in three different skills or, you know, a master at one skill and at the same time, pretty well rounded as far as being a person goes and yeah, because I guess that's what a lot of successful people are like, you know, maybe not the top 0.1% of society, but maybe like the top 1% of people, the top 10% are like that, where they're really good at one thing and well-rounded as individuals. So, or maybe conversely, just barely scraping by as a, as a well-rounded human being and, you know, maybe a god at one thing, 20,000 hours spent on something, maybe if they're, you know, somewhere on the spectrum and are willing to, um, or just hyper-focused individuals, hyper-conscientious, hyper, like extremely hardworking. So, um, yeah, there's that. And so it's 60,000 hours. I mean, that's a lot of time already, but on top of that, I've probably spent even more time um, wasted that I just can't think of at the moment because I'm kind of under pressure. And on a more positive note, if you look at all the things that I have worked towards, I'd say cumulatively, I've probably spent maybe 8,000 hours across all the things that I consider productive, like cooking, making music, you know, different things, different skills, you know, maybe another 10,000 on education, on academia, but the thing is that that was all well-rounded, but as a quote unquote student, someone who has to go through the system, I was pretty good at one point, even though I didn't have any self-control. If push came to shove, at least before I lost my cognitive ability, I could at least do things like cram study before tests and get pretty decent marks. Um, but now I've lost that ability, so that's a sort of a, I guess, a shame. I have to actually have to read over shit now and read over stuff. I don't know why I'm swearing so much today. Um, 
read over stuff and study as hard as I can in order to, you know, get a good grade, uh, you know, and so I'd say in terms of a ratio of productive to unproductive time, I'd say I'd spent one part productive time to three parts unproductive time. And that's across 80,000 hours. The rest of that was probably spent doing things like eating, bathing, and just surviving. So obviously and sleeping, obviously, you know, I don't even know how many hours I've lived. That's something I'll have to put into a calculator to see, but I don't even want to think about it because that'll just make me even more depressed when I actually get the math right. Hopefully I'm overestimating the amount of time that I wasted because maybe that'll make me feel a lot better. But anyways, I guess that's pretty much all I have to say at this point in time. So this is it for the first video. And these are the the, the things that I've essentially wasted the most time in. And anyways, sorry if this video is kind of low quality, but I'm really trying to bang them out, bang them out as fast as I can right now. I'll probably make a second one right after this and upload them both at the same time. Anyways, this is Company signing out.